Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions. Who is it? It's Nancy again. Dexter needs to know what you want for dinner. Oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. But tell Baxter that I am developing a powerful craving for couscous. Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. Yes? The professor says she has a hankering for, um, couscous. Couscous? Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. So, how long have you been working here? A while. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Is that my couscous already? Sorry, Professor, but there's no couscous in the house. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you? Ta-ta! And did you get the menu? Sure did. How about opening the door so I can give it to you? Oh, you're a sneaky one. Just slip it under the door, please. Nice and easy. No funny stuff. Uh, who? Baby back ribs. Yes. Oh, chili cheese dog. A fried bologna sandwich. Uh, I am not usually much of a meat eater, but uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, please. Chicken, that is. Cluck, cluck. Sure. Fifty drumsticks. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, dear. Can I help you? The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay then. Drumsticks we got. Oops. But I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. Your radiator's as good as fixed. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Ah, Nancy, como se va? Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila! I make these hot boxes, for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. Dexter needs you to defrost that big bag of chicken legs. Oh la la la, what does he think I am? A sous chef! 
I'll talk to you later. Ciao! Did you see I fix your radiator? Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Hi, I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? Yeah. Dexter just told me the library is a disaster area and that it's totally off limits. Too bad, huh? I'm dying to see what they did to it. Don't quote me on this, but I think Dexter has an extra key to the library somewhere around his desk. I guess you've really got your finger on the pulse around here. Any other castle scandal I should know about? Oh, we got scandal, honey. Professor Hotchkiss is claiming she's been robbed, for one thing. But the real scandal is downstairs. His name is Jacques Brunet. What do you know about Professor Hotchkiss? Oh my gosh! Wait till you hear this! Hotchkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. You said she's a professor. Do you know what she teaches? I'm really not sure. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Habla Espanol? Hardly. I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? I wonder why he was so antisocial. Creepy, right? I mean, did we stumble onto the set of As the Castle Turns or what? Well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. Brandy? Oh, I'm glad you're here. At the moment, my theory is rising like a magnificent souffle. I need to collect a few more ingredients, if you will, but it's a delicate situation. If I leave my room even for a moment, I fear the souffle will come crashing down in a heap. 
What do you need me for, Professor? What I need is some information about the castle. Hard numbers. I've come to the conclusion that you are an enterprising and faithful soul. Therefore, I have decided to entrust you with this important mission. Who knows? If you succeed, I might whisk you away from the hotel business to be my personal research assistant. Well, Professor Hodgkiss, I'm not actually in the hotel business, but I'd love to help. Marvelous! Here's what I need to know. Not counting the towers, how many windows are there on the face of the castle? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with. But please, don't disturb me unless you have the answer. Can I help you? Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. <laughs> 